COVID mRNA vaccines were associated with a 1 in 442 dose rate risk of cardiac abnormalities like SVT, atrial fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, and atrial tachycardia. That said, if you want a quick summary of this video, here it is. A new study was just released and showed serious cardiac abnormalities after 1 in every 442 mRNA COVID vaccine doses administered compared to other vaccines. Now, the interesting thing about this paper, the 1 in every 442 dose rate of cardiac adverse events post mRNA vaccination was compared to the rate of arrhythmias elicited from other kinds of vaccines. And that was the author's way to give a comparison of cardiac side effects associated with mRNA COVID vaccines to other miscellaneous vaccines like influenza, HPV, smallpox, and pertussis. Needless to say, the final results were shocking. Now that was just a quick summary, but the details matter, so stick around. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. So if you want, I have YouTube memberships now that give you access to more content as well. Just click the join button below. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up my new Substack post on this study where I summarized everything. So hold on one second. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight this section right here. So as you can see, this was a meta-analysis. In other words, a conglomerate of data from 36 different studies analyzed. So the authors from this paper looked at a total of 830 million mRNA COVID vaccine doses administered and also flu, smallpox, HPV, and pertussis vaccine doses administered between the years of 1947 and 2022. So over 75 years or so. Well, turns out if you look right here, one in every 442 mRNA COVID vaccine doses administered administered were associated with a cardiac arrhythmia. But the most interesting part was combined for all other vaccines looked at in this paper, so HPV, flu, smallpox, and pertussis, only one in every 101,000 individuals who received the dose experienced the cardiac arrhythmia. That means mRNA COVID vaccines were associated with a 225 times increased dose rate cardiac arrhythmia compared to the data from all other vaccines looked at in this preprint. Now let me scroll down to this image from the study itself. One second. Now look here where it says third dose. On the bottom right hand corner of the red rectangle it says 19,064. If you look at the top category here it says cardiac arrhythmia cases per million vaccine doses. So if we do the math that turns out to one in every 52 doses and that means after one in every 52 mRNA vaccine doses administered there was some form of cardiac arrhythmia associated. Therefore there was a substantial amount of arrhythmia linked to dose three compared to all other doses. So let's define cardiac arrhythmia. The authors define cardiac arrhythmia as supraventricular tachycardia, AV block, AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, heart block, atrial fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation, atrial flutter, and atrial and ventricular tachycardia. Many of those can require medical intervention, days off from work, and observation in a hospital. And make no mistake, some of these rhythms or interruptions in cardiac electrical patterns can be fatal. These things diminish people's quality of life. I should also add as a final note, this paper did not measure death. So what does all this mean? Well, the author said, quote, the overall risk for arrhythmia after COVID-19 vaccination was relatively low, although it was higher in COVID-19 vaccine recipients than in non-COVID-19 vaccine recipients. If you'd like to think a dose rate of 1 in 442 or 1 in 52 is low compared to total arrhythmias from four other vaccines total or is not meaningful, be my guest. I'm still very surprised no one's covering this paper, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything you'd like to learn about in the future, leave it in the comments section below, and I'll see you on the next one.